what is the one product that comes from animals that doesn't need to be refrigerated and never and will never go bad? Oh, honey. Honey. Yeah. It's the only one, but most people don't know that. Yeah, it's true. Minneapolis is a forward-thinking, green, and environmentally conscious city where parks and open spaces pepper the urban sprawl. It's also a metropolis buzzing with the entrepreneurial spirit. And beekeeper Christy Lynn Allen has discovered the sweet spot between these two progressive initiatives with her company, The Bee's Knees. When you say something is the bee's knees, why is that? Honeybees develop pollen sacs behind their knees, hence the bee's knees, ah. is where they carry pollen. Bees are really important pollinators for our food and our landscapes. Have you ever been in a beehive before? I have not. Ooh, look at them all. Yeah. Whoa! This is getting heavy. Yeah. Whoa, hold on. Because they're full of honey. Oh. The bee that we keep here is European in origin, mostly the Italian honeybee Ooh. or the carniolan, which was bred. The bougie bees. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's the honeycomb we're looking at, right? Right. What are they all doing right now? They're bringing in honey, and then they're curing it, and then they're covering it with wax. Let's switch spots, because I'm going to open it up. Oh, yeah. Look so. at that. Wow. I'm holding a sheet with a thousand bees on it right now, mm -hmm. and they're all just going about their business as if nothing's happening. Right. Okay, so now we're going to start harvesting the honey. What is honey? Where does honey come from? The bees have a straw-like tongue, and they suck the nectar out of the flower, and they deposit it in the cell, and then the bees that are already in the hive are the ones that finish it off. They extract moisture, and it dries the nectar out, and it turns it into honey. Wow. They've already got all their little cells covered yeah. up. So then essentially what bees are doing is collecting food and stockpiling it for the winter. Yeah. And as beekeepers, you guys are then going in and being like, yeah, we'll take some of that. Yeah, kind of. But we're respectful when yeah. we do it. Why bees? A long time ago, I started working with my uncle, who's a commercial beekeeper, and the minute he opened a hive, I just fell in love with them. The smell, the sounds, all these females working together to produce this incredible product. Bees are female. All the worker bees are female. So there's the queen bee, and then there's all of her underlings, essentially. Yeah, in fact, everyone thinks the queen is in charge. It's not true. It's all her daughters that make the decisions and do all the work. Here, let me show you a trick. Okay. Oh, wow. And then put this in, and then you avoided squishing any bees. I mean, this is absolutely chock full of honey. There we go. That's Good honey job. harvest. We thank you for all the bounties that you have given us, ladies. Get back to work. Once the honey-rich combs have been collected, it's off to the honey house for some sweet extraction. Look at that. It's a beauty. Natural. It smells incredible. Mm -hmm. Like the smell of the honey coming off. And the best way to eat honey. Just like that. Yeah, and chew it up like gum. Oh my god. That is so incredibly sweet. And keeping with a sustainable agenda, the gooey golden honey is retrieved using good old-fashioned human horsepower. So how do I know when I'm done? We just tell people to do about a minute. It smells so good. Three, two, one. What a day. Cool. All right, I gotta hit the road, folks. With the edible delight all packaged up, it goes back out into the very communities that produced it, making local cafes and restaurants taste that much sweeter. I would like uh, espresso and a little bit of honey drizzled in there. Would you say that keeping bees, is this a passion, a hobby? I would say a passion and a profession. When I started delivering honey on bike, dressed like a bee, I noticed a lot of people just were really curious and wanted to know what was going on with bees. We started to educate people by just showing them that honeybees aren't a dangerous creature. They're really important to us. One of the reasons I really love bees is that they work as a social organism, as a unit. And so one little individual bee is not super strong. But her and all of her sisters, 50 to 70,000 of them together, can do incredible things, like make honey. And so if we model that as human beings, that adds up to something very large and can actually impact. To be or, or not, not to be. Shakespeare. <laughs> He's a big reader.